What happened with this church was three people all had kidney cancer in both kidneys. Very unusual. And two of the people were women. And then this is a nephew. She was completely healed. There's no cancer left. And then he told me a very cool story. He said the doctors didn't believe it. What the pastor shared with me is he said that um, the doctors didn't really believe that her cancer was gone. So they operated on her and they opened her up and they couldn't find any cancer. So she was a complete cure. And then the second woman was cured as well, bilateral kidney cancer. Now the third one, I was at a church in San Jose called Freedom Worship Center. We were just about to start the church service and across the screen comes a testimony. There it is, it's the third woman from the church. And she said, you had prayed with me or prayed for me for my nephew who had bilateral kidney cancer. And she said, after you prayed for him, I didn't know where he was, he's proxy, he could have been in New York or something. She said, after you prayed for him, his kidney cancer disappeared. Wow. And the next thing that comes across is a picture. And this comes across the live stream. And she said, that's my nephew. I was really touched by this because here we have three people who are healed just around the same time of the same cancer. And this picture made me think, what if he had not healed? Yeah. You know, that's that he has a deadly cancer. And what if his life had just been over? It's a terrible way to go. Yet here God heals him. And this beautiful picture comes across to us, smiling and happy. And I was deeply touched by this. I actually shared it with the church we were in. I said, wow, this just came across. And I actually shared it with everybody we were with in San Jose.